Hey everyone, it's Advanced with Tag Gaming, and I've been wanting to do it for a while and I haven't decided to do it. What I wanted to do was to do user benchmark. So what I wanted to do is put something out there that people are not familiar with their PC, don't have any idea what they're working with, can actually bench their PC if they don't know about this, and kind of see where their PC is for 2020, you know what I mean? Um, this is a benchmark I haven't really used a whole lot. I've used it a little bit here and there, and um, typically my system is going to be a UFO when I first get it, and then it will go out of being a UFO very quickly. Oh, we got to cancel this. One thing to remember is if you have an OSD, you need to close it. It will make the test fail. So what I figured I'd do is I would... Oh, really? Okay. I'd run the test and see what I got. I already know what I got from running the test about a month ago, maybe two months ago, probably two months ago. I'm curious to see if it's dropped down at all. Probably not, but maybe by the, I don't know, release of Intel's new processors, AMD's new processors in the next few months, maybe it will drop down at that point, or new graphics cards. Um, one of the good things about this test, it's completely safe to do if you've never used it before or never heard of it. And it's, it's a good way just to test to see what kind of performance you're looking at on your PC. If, if you don't really know, you don't really have an idea, or if you feel like your PC is slow and you just want to see, I mean, is it time to upgrade or not? You know what I mean? So the test is not that long. I'm pretty much going to talk why the test is run until it's done. I just wanted to run the test and let you see what the test looks like. Um, if you've never ran it before, um, it'd probably take a couple minutes, maybe two minutes at most. One of the things, though, with this test is that it's going to also let you know what you, your PC is like for gaming and a desktop and a workstation. Um, you might hear some coil whine in the graphics test. I, I think I hear it every time and on any video card I have. You'll probably hear the fans spin up right now, the uh, blue snowball. It pretty much is to the right of me and it's just in front of the case, so... It's something that you'll probably hear. One of the things that about my PC too is this this test right here is not actually what my PC will do. This is what I run my PC at. My uh, everyday configuration overclocks and um, cooling. If I wanted to, I could overclock it more. I could take the fans. I could crank all the fans up. I think there's 11 case fans and a fractal uh, R6. I'd say this is. It's not probably the best case or my favorite case I've ever had. Uh, I remember when it came out, I decided to grab one and try it because the older case I had, which is I normally run Lee and Lee cases, wasn't set up for configuration to handle uh, 360 radiators. So I decided to go with this case when it came out. I did want to go with Lee and Lee. They didn't have anything at the time. They have a, the uh, Dynamics and the XL, and I thought about it, but there's a few little things on it that just didn't make me happy about getting it. Some plasticky tabs, and um, it doesn't support 3140s, it's more like 3120s or 2140s. Um, I have 140s through the case um, for intake and stuff like that. The radiator has uh, six 120s on it. Um, just because the case itself, if you know anything about the cases, it doesn't have very good airflow coming in. So I did a push pull to help with that because I didn't want to do the radiator coming out the top. I was thinking actually about doing a um, a graphics card with the radiator on it. So I left that comp that area open, but I don't think I'm going to do that because one of the things I have is I switch out graphics cards a lot. So for me to do uh, you know, a loop or something like that. It's just not worth it since I have to rip it apart all the time. All right, so we're done. We've got our test. And so you can see right here, once you run your test, it's gonna show you what the different, you know, categories are and how your performance is for your PC. You can see that I'm still all in UFO category, which makes sense for the system I have. Um, it is overclocked, but it's not, you know, it's, it's at 5.0 with an AVX instruction of two which means when it hits load, it's gonna drop down to 4.8. Um, I run it that way just because of the video editing and stuff like that. And I wanna keep the fans on silent, which on silent, controlled by the motherboard, which I use ASUS, um, 
it's a Formula 11. It, uh, it'll run the fans maybe 1200 max and on the um, 120 is about 1500 max. So you can see right here when you run the test, you get everything done, kind of give you some information on your PC and it'll tell you where your performance is. And um, so you can see right here, so the components. And you know, this thing, a good thing about this website is that you actually can go in and you can take a look at other components and configure them and see what kind of performance you get. I mean, obviously it's price per performance for people. If you have a limited amount of funds, then that's gonna cause, you know, a little bit of investigation, probably trying to figure out different components and things like that for what you need. Um, me, I do engineering, design, video editing, gaming. So for me, I've always, since college, have had high-end PCs as far as for like the mainstream. I have had workstation before, but that, that can get ridiculous and it's not really worth it for what I need. And um, I'll just scroll through these a little bit and you can see what I have right here. And you can see one of the things that's a big help for the system is gonna be probably everything in my system. As you can see right here, you know, I have, you know, really good storage components. Um, they do get hot and that's one thing that I'm not been happy about on with this case configuration. Um, you can see the graphics card, it's not even a 2080 Ti, which I can put my 2080 Ti in there and run it and get a little bit higher, but I'm not concerned about it. And you can see the processor right here. You know, it's just, this is probably your biggest bang for your buck without going into a workstation because of the price point. I mean, just let alone to go into something like an RTX card, $2,500 versus a $700 card. This is probably about $800, but um, it's just an idea. Also right here, as you can see right here, that if you are a gamer, which if you follow my channel a little bit and you see that I benchmark games and try to stay with games that are fairly popular or waiting for newer ones to come out to start benching them. And I'm really waiting for the new graphics cards to tell you the truth. I pretty much sorted through my inventory, boxed up things, uh, gave away some things on the channel and eBayed the rest and I'm waiting for the new cards which should be within about two months hopefully. I don't know, the coronavirus has been a little bit of a slowdown. I think that most manufacturers in China are still moving along now at this point. Um, and I know this video is probably a lot of people are not, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna suck to them, not too exciting, but I think it's a very helpful video if you're looking to buy a PC and test your PC and see where you're at as far as components, or if you were to upgrade certain components of your PC or a laptop for all that, um, for what you could upgrade within a laptop. Not too intense, I just wanted to kind of show what the what it was. And what I have in general. And also I wanted to show this one thing, which I thought the first time I ever saw it was kind of funny. It was the classifications, I mean a tree trunk. Yeah, so I mean, if you're just surfing the internet, I mean, you're probably fine down here. If you're gaming, you're probably gonna wanna be at least up somewhere in this area here and if you're you're gaming extreme graphics and things like that and doing uh, video editing and um, engineering like I do this this would probably be where you'd want to be right here so that's that's pretty much it um, I've got some more videos coming up I mean I could cover one in coil wine it'd probably be redundant right now I might wait for the new cards really waiting for the new cards to come out and stuff like that so that's about everything. I'll see you guys later.